Sup pigeons, hope everybody's doing good, man. So we're gonna be doing a q and A. I I posted on my Instagram story telling you guys to run up some questions. So we're just gonna jump right into it. All right, first question, how long have I been lifting? So I've been lifting consistently um, for about three and a half years now. I used to dabble with lifting back in the day. Like my dad would bring me to the gym when I was younger, like 15. And I would literally just hit like one set of every machine in the fucking gym. I just had like no idea what I was doing. I did that for a summer and then when I was in high school, um, I lifted for about four months leading up to S trip and I would literally just train arms, back and chest and that was about it. Um, up until my 20th birthday, I got my first gym membership and then I've stayed consistent until now. How do you stay motivated? So honestly, man, I am very rarely motivated. Um, when you hear people say like motivation over discipline, like that's so fucking true. Um, you just want to get to a point where it becomes routine. Like for me, um, pushing myself really hard in the gym, training six times a week, like getting six meals a day in, like drinking a gallon and a half of water, you know, getting my supplements in. Like it's just a no brainer um, because I've been doing it for so long. So once you get to uh, the point where it becomes routine, you're set. What got you into lifting? So I grew up playing hockey my entire life. And uh, like I said, I lifted up, I lifted here and there um, on and off, but I'd always been in somewhat decent shape. And when I went away to college, I gained a ton of weight and I just felt like shit mentally and physically. And uh, I just wanted to make a change and I got back into the gym. And as soon as I started seeing results, I fell in love with it and uh, just never looked back. All right, so where did the sup pigeon originate from? So basically, I used to watch a lot of Sush back in the day and he would say, what's up, pussies? Um, and I knew that I needed something to stand out like that. Um, and like I said, I grew up playing hockey my whole life and pigeon was like a main chirp that got thrown around. Um, so I just started saying sup pigeons and people started fucking with it. So I just ran with it. How long do you typically work out for? So usually my workouts are around an hour and a half to two hours. Um, I do a lot of stretching and shit before my workouts now. So that includes that. Um, and as well as like accessories after my workout, like calves and stuff. So I'd say roughly two hours. What's one piece of advice you'd give to all beginner lifters? Don't fucking stop going to the gym, man. Like honestly, the best advice that I can give you is just stick with it and to focus on your own journey. Um, I know there was a lot of times where I'd get caught up seeing people that started maybe roughly the same time as me and they'd be making way faster gains than me and it would be really discouraging. Um, but the only thing you should be focused on is yourself and bettering yourself. Um, progress pictures are huge. I wish I took more of that shit when I was younger. Um, so definitely start taking progress pictures. But yeah, man, just ultimately stay with it and just try to absorb as much information as you can. Top three gyms in Canada. So honestly, I haven't really trained at that many gyms, but by far the top two gyms that I've ever trained at is Athletic Culture <coughs> in Barrie and Pure Muscle in Burlington. But Pure Muscle is like by far the best gym I've ever been to. Tips on the first bulk and getting over looking fat. Just know that it's for like the greater good, like you putting on size and like building muscle. Like you're gonna have to get out of your comfort zone and put on a bit of fluff, but don't just look at like the short term goal. Look at like the long term goal. So yeah, like, Maybe for the next like year, you might look like a bit of a milk bag, but fucking five, 10 years from now, you're gonna have that size and you're gonna be lean and it's gonna look way more aesthetic. What made you start social media and what advice do you have for someone wanting to start? So the reason I started social media is because I actually watched a lot of influencers like Lex Little, Callum Von Moger, um, David Laid, those types of guys. And I really fucking wanted to do that and just be like motivation for someone else. Like I thought that was really cool. Um, and I just like saw the potential of myself and I said, you know, if these fucking guys can do it, like, why can't I, um, the biggest thing that I had to get over was caring what people thought about me. That was the biggest factor. I probably pushed off posting on social media for over a year because of that. Um, but once I got over that, I started posting consistently. Um, but best advice I can give to you is to just not give a fuck because I feel like that is what holds a lot of people back is what others care about them. Um, but people are going to hate regardless. So you just kind of keep that in mind. And if people do hate on you, fuck them. Like it's really not that big of a deal. No matter what you do, people are going to hate on you. Um, so you may as well just do what you enjoy. Um, but just stay consistent, man, be yourself. And, uh, like the way that I look at posting on social media is kind of the way that I look at the gym. Um, so like some guys are going to have better genetics than you. Some guys are going to, you know, blow up more than you on social media faster than you. And you can't expect to be posting on social media for six months and be fucking like 1 million followers. Same thing with the gym. You can't expect to 
be lifting for six months and look like fucking Chris Bumstead. So that's the way that I kind of look at it. Um, and yeah, just stay consistent on every single platform. And trust me, man, it's so fucking rewarding. Like the amount of DMs that I've received just from people telling me how much I motivate them or like make their day better from like seeing their videos and shit, it's pretty cool. Will I ever hop on gear? Honestly, man, I can't see myself ever hopping on gear. Um, personally, I just think I'm too big of a pussy um, to take the health risk. I'm not really that knowledgeable on it either. Um, and I don't see myself doing a bodybuilding show um, or getting like really into bodybuilding, which to me would be like the only time that it would be worth it to actually take steroids. Plus, I just like want to be like a good example on social media. Like I feel like a lot of influencers are just, you know, hopping on gear and fucking posting their exact cycle. And then some like 17 year old kid will look up to them and be like, oh, fuck, my favorite influencer is doing it. Like, why can't I? And uh, I just think that's a bad influence. Um, so I just want to like achieve like a really good natural physique and just like show you guys that, you know, it's achievable without hopping on gear. All right, so we'll probably wrap up the questions there. Appreciate everybody that, you know, asked a question. I'm sorry if I couldn't get around to your question. Um, I'll be doing another Q&A in the future. Um, or if you guys have any other questions, just shoot me a DM on my Instagram. Um, but yeah, basically the plan is now I got a chest workout tonight, so we're just gonna get a shit ton of rice and just like a bunch of food into me and just carb up for the workout. All right, so for the pre today, we're rocking the batch 27. We got cherry bomb. And then I'm also just gonna throw my creatine in there as well. Make sure you boys are using code pigeon off any TC nutrition products, but you fuckers gotta start sending me your orders so I can thank you personally. Because uh, recently I've been having a lot of people use my code, but I haven't received any DMs. So make sure you guys are DMing me when you guys use my code. Bro, I can't be the only one that literally just like pulls up to the gym and just like sits in their car for like fucking 20 minutes and just like sips their pre-workout and just like cranks like the hardest fucking music to get like dialed in before their workout. Like I feel like when I do that, my lifts are like so much fucking better because like mentally I'm just like so locked in. Like in my opinion, the mentality before your workout plays a huge fucking role in how you perform. Like if you fucking go in there and just like literally have like player one mentality and say like, I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna fucking be better than I was last week. I'm gonna get an extra rep or I'm gonna add five pounds. Like you just get into that mindset and nine times out of 10, you're gonna fucking do it, man. gonna stop with your fucking like three by twelves doing the same weight same amount of reps if your set doesn't look like this you're not fucking pushing yourself hard enough Yeah.